Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here, and today I'm going to talk about the seven common mistakes that you should definitely avoid when making a website, especially on Shopify. These mistakes are easy to fix, but it will have a dramatic effect because you will get much better positioning on search engines and also you will get more customers. So let's get started in three, two, one, yeah! Starting with mistake number seven, not removing the lame Powered by Shopify message at the bottom of your website. Come on, you are paying Shopify. Shopify is not paying you. Don't advertise for them. Plus, it also looks like your website was made by an amateur or is one of those drop shipping stores, which it might be. But anyways, just take it out. I'm gonna show you how. Log into the back end of your website, go to your sales channel, online store, click on themes, then click on actions, and then click on edit languages. Now here, you're going to look for Power It. And right here, what it says, Powered by Shopify, remove that, okay? And you're gonna put something else or just leave it blank. Put something like a copyright notice or you can put an offer like free shipping or, you know, whatever, just take it out, okay? Take out the Shopify. Mistake number six, not adding enough payment methods. You don't know if your customers prefer to pay with ShopPay, PayPal, Amazon Pay, Facebook, credit card, crypto, you don't know. So just allow them to pay with anything. Anyways, the money goes to the same place, your wallet. Go to settings, then you're gonna look for payments. This is where you will be accepting standard, all the credit cards, and then also Facebook Pay, Google Pay, all of that stuff. But then you have to also add PayPal, add Amazon Pay, and add also crypto, if you dare, of course. If you want to add even more, just click on add payment methods, you know, just search by provider, and look at this, there's all of these options. Don't go too overboard, okay? But at least put the ones that I showed you. Mistake number five, installing too many apps and also cluttering your page with a bunch of pop-ups. New subscriber, nice. Oh, new registration. Wow, new order, jackpot. Wow, <laughs> there you go, nice. Roulette, awesome. This site must be amazing. There's so many people interacting with it. Look at that. Don't do it. Mistake number four, missing a call to action. When visitors land on your website, you have to make sure that you tell them what to do. Apple here is telling me to buy this phone. It's telling me to buy this one too. Learn more. So look, Audi, explore the Audi e-tron. They want me to know more about this. Let's take another look at something else. UNICEF. See, donate now. See, those are call to actions. You must have at least one call to action on every page. If it's a product page, just the buy now. If it's the homepage, you can direct them to a specific product, a bestseller or a category. And if it's a blog or something, you can, you know, tell them to subscribe. But always add a call to action on every page because you have to guide the customers to continue clicking, continue learning more, buying. Mistake number three, not offering something in return when you ask for a customer's email. You should always try to collect the email of your visitors, but you cannot just ask for it. You have to offer something in return. For example, take a look at this pop-up. Get 10% of your order now. Join the Omega VIP club. We will send you an email right away with your discount code. Okay, so immediate reward. Also on the bottom of the page, here on the footer, get 10% of your order today. If you don't want to offer a discount, you can offer a free ebook or access to a specific section that nobody else has access. Just make sure that you tell them that you will reward them immediately. So they will be happy to give you their email and then you can retarget them and you know, make sure that you collect the sale. Mistake number two, not checking and optimizing the size of your images. Nothing is worse than a slow website. Google will penalize you and you will lose ranking. Make sure that you don't have a 20 megabyte image right there in the middle of your website because the visitors will have to wait for it to load before the next content appears and they will bounce. Remember that it's three seconds and people bounce. So make sure that your website starts showing something before that time. On your Shopify admin, go to settings and then click on files. And here you will see all of your images. Just make sure that they are below 300 kilobytes, preferably. There are some apps that you can download that they will resize all the photos for you and put them on the correct resolution. But if you don't have that many photos, you can just do it yourself. And talking about images, that brings us to mistake number one. 
not adding alt text to your images. This is super important for SEO. And you will be surprised how many people discover your website because they are looking at images. Every time that you add a new image, always click on it and click on edit alt text and here add your SEO words. It will help you a lot with positioning, I guarantee it. And here is a bonus mistake, not adding enough sales channels. On your Shopify admin, go to your sales channels right here and see where you're selling, okay? As you can see, I'm selling everywhere. I always tell you that it's easier to grow horizontally rather than vertically. And by that, what I mean is that once you have one product, it's easier to offer it on more marketplaces to increase your reach rather than adding more products on just one marketplace. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Remember to like and subscribe and also watch my other videos for more e-commerce content. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm out.